Hey guys, Rusty over here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to farm Echoes of Nihilotha so you can finally buy your best in slot corruption gear. Only when it rotates in though, because Blizz felt it necessary not to put every piece of corruption on the vendor for some stupid reason. But whatever. Anyways, let's get right into the guide. Now the first few, or first four methods I'm going to show you are going to be the only infinitely farmable methods, meaning you farm however long as you want for however long as you want. It doesn't have a cap on it like the other ones will. So let's get started with those first. Now moving on to the first farming method, and that's going to be to complete your Mythic Plus dungeons. Now the way this works is for every level of the keystone that you complete, you will earn 15 Echoes of Nihilotha. So, for example, if you complete a Mythic Level 15 dungeon, you will get 225 Echoes of Nihilotha, right? Basic math, 15 times 15 equals 225. Now, in my opinion, this is probably the most fun way to earn Echoes of Nihilotha. Obviously, that's subjective. If you don't like Mythic Plus, you're not going to like doing this. And in my, also in my opinion, guys, doing a level 15 with a good guild group really isn't that difficult. So if you want, you could farm those out. However, if even for casual groups or a casual guild group, maybe even some pugs, you could very easily clear mythic plus tens with no trouble at all and also get through them very quickly, especially if your characters are very geared. And even that, that's still 150 echoes of Nihilotha for a mythic plus 10. This is in my opinion, the most fun method to farm. However, maybe not the most time efficient. In my opinion, the most time efficient is going to be the next one, which is to farm your rated arena wins. Now, you could do this on either 2v2s or 3v3s. It doesn't matter. Personally, I do 2v2s just because they are quicker to farm out your Echoes of Nihilotha. Now, if you're not sure how this works, it, you gain 50 Echoes of Nihilotha every time you win. However, this is increased based on your rating up to 125, although that's at the Gladiator level. Guys, even if you're farming out 50 Echoes of Nihilotha at the, the basically at the low of the low, which is where I'm at right now, because you know, I'm just so good at PVP, right? You will, those arena matches go so quick, you could very easily farm out those Echoes of Nihilotha very quickly. This is, in my opinion, the most time efficient and probably the best farming method for you to do. Now, the next method is going to be farm out your random battlegrounds. This is also infinitely farmable, so if you prefer to do battlegrounds over arena, you can also do this. Now, the way this works is for every time you win a random battleground, you'll get a random amount, anywhere between 75 and 125 Echoes of Nihilotha. Again, this is completely at random, and I do also believe you have to win the battleground. Uh, I wouldn't know if you get them if you lose because I never lose, right? Anyways, if you do get them for losing, feel free to let me know in the comments down below because I'm not really sure about that. Now, moving on to the fourth and last method that you can infinitely farm is going to be your Raided Battlegrounds. Now, this works similar to Arena where you get a base amount at the lowest rank, which is 175 Echoes of Nihilotha every time you win. But again, just like the Raided Arena wins, this is increased based on your PvP rating up to the Gladiator level. Although, again, most of you guys will probably at the lower or in between, probably won't be most of you probably won't be gladiators. Chances are if you're a gladiator, you probably already know about these methods. Anyways, if you prefer to do battlegrounds, you can also infinitely farm out Echoes of Nihilotha for that. And that is the last method that you can infinitely farm out your Echoes of Nihilotha. Now, the rest of these methods will have a cap on the how many Echoes you can earn, for example, per week or based on amount of currency you have. However, you are going to want to do these as they usually give a larger amount of Echoes of Nihilotha. Now, the first of these methods is going to be from your weekly Mythic Plus Cash. Now, unlike the loot you get from the cash, the current the amount of currency you get is a little bit more reliable. Now, similar to how it works when you do a regular dungeon, for every keystone level you complete, for up to the highest difficulty, you will gain 100 Echoes of Nihilotha. So for example, if the highest key you completed one week is a mythic level 15, you will get 1,500 Echoes of Nihilotha from your weekly Mythic Plus cash. So essentially what you're going to want to do here, guys, simply every week do the highest level Mythic Plus that you can. Simple enough. Now sticking to the idea of chest, the next one is going to be from your PvP weekly chest. Now every week you want to make sure you fill up your conquest bar by doing you know, your rated PvP or your call to arms or even the, what's it called, the assaults with the uh, war mode on will also give you conquest. Fill up your conquest bar and at the end of the week or at least every reset day, Tuesday for you know US, Wednesday for EU, you will be able to open your PvP chest and this will baseline give you 875 Echoes of Nihilotha, but again kind of similar to your rated BGs and your rated 
rated arenas. This will increase based on your rating. So again, 875 is the baseline and this will increase up to the gladiator level. But even if you are doing this, again, I'm doing this at 1600. I get my 875 every week. It's still a good chunk of Echoes and Iolotha just for simply filling up your conquest bar. So make sure you get that done every week. Now, the next way you get Echoes and Iolotha is going to be every week. You have your assaults in Oldham and also the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. Now, obviously you're gonna to wanna to do these any week anyways for your coalescing visions, for your horrific visions. So chances are you're doing, already doing this, but in just in case you didn't know, every major vision you do, or every major invasion you do, which is the Nazoth ones, you get 625 Echoes of Nihilotha and the minor assaults. So, you know, your Mogu, your Mantid, your Akir, and the Amethet assaults, the, basically the minor ones, the, the one that appear twice a week, you get 375 Echoes of Nihilotha from that. So basically, guys, just do what you're probably already doing and keep doing your assaults every week. Even if you're not doing the dailies, just get the actual assaults done. Now, the next method is going to be one of the best out of the entire video, which is going to be farming your horrific visions with your coalescing visions that you earn from doing your assaults. Now, the way this works is that you get 250 from the main boss of the vision, meaning Illyria or Thrall from their chest. And for every side area that you complete, you will gain an additional 125 Echoes of Nihilotha. So if you basically clear the horrific vision of Orgrimmar or Stormwind, you do a full clear, all the side areas, and you kill the last boss, you will gain 750 Echoes of Nihilotha. And the best part about this, guys, is you don't even need to put any mask on at all. You could do this with zero mask if you really want to. And guys, if you have a rank 15 cloak and a full tech tree, you could probably complete a full vision without any mask with no gear. I mean, someone made a video of completing a five mask with no gear. And guys, these visions are a complete joke. So make sure you're doing your invasions. And if you want, you can really do those dailies, get a lot of your coalescing visions. And chances are you will get most of your Echoes of Nihilotha just co by completing your horrific visions every week. Again, it's 750 just for a clear. And if you're really struggling, you don't even need to put the mask on. So just make sure you're using your coalescing visions and, use, and doing your horrific visions. And you will gain a lot of Echoes of Nihilotha that way. Now, moving on to the next method, which is probably going to blow your mind as to how stupid this is. It, it still blows my mind. But anyways, it's going to be to complete Nihilotha the Waking City. Now, you can do this on any difficulty. You just need to clear the raid every boss once per week. So, for example, if you do normal Rathion, you're going to get Echoes from him. But you will not get Echoes of Nihilotha then from Heroic or Mythic Rathion. So, most of you are probably going to want to clear normal Nihilotha the Waking City at least once a week. LFR works a little differently, but we'll get that in a second. So again, the way this works, for every boss that you kill, you will gain anywhere between 50 and 150 Echoes of Nihilotha at random. I, I don't... I don't get this. I would understand if this was infinitely farmable, if the amount of currency you got was random, fine. But the fact that this is limited to once per week blows my mind. I didn't even know this was a thing until I did Heroic Nazoth with my guild and guildmates got more echoes than me just because they got lucky. Blizzard really loves their randomness. Anyways, guys, chances are you're probably going to clear the raid at least once a week on normal difficulty. Although if you're doing heroic or even mythic with the guild, you'll also get echoes from that. I will say this, I have no data proving this and I'm not sure if this is true. I have noticed and it feels like the later bosses give more echoes of Nihilotha or have a chance, a higher chance to give more echoes of Nihilotha than the earlier bosses. Although again, I have no data proving that. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys think you've noticed that too. It would at least make sense for me. Now, LFR works a little bit differently. You gain 125 echoes for every single wing that you do. So if you complete all four wings of LFR, Nihilotha, you will gain 500 echoes of Nihilotha. So essentially, guys, complete your LFR wings every week and also at least complete the raid on normal difficulty, or you could also do it on heroic or even mythic. Now, the next method is just going to be to complete your daily emissary quest. Simple enough, complete your emissaries and you will gain 250 Echoes of Nihilotha every time you hand in an emissary quest. And moving on to the final method is just going to do complete your heroic Darkshore Warfront, which by the way, I did have footage of for you guys, but of course it got corrupted. So just enjoy me not getting mounts. Anyways, guys, every time Heroic Darkshore pops up, complete that, complete the quest, and you will gain 375 Echoes of Nihilotha. So there you go, guys. That's every way you can earn your Echoes of Nihilotha to buy your Corruption Gear, or if you're missing some Essences. Now, if you feel that I missed a method, please let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you have any questions at all, guys, write a comment down below and ask me. I do my absolute best to try and answer comments and help you guys out. Also, if you like the video, if you feel like it helped you, please give it a like. It does help me out a lot. 
And if you like the content, subscribe to the channel. I try and upload a guide at least once a week. And that's pretty much it, guys. But as always, as always, one second. Hold on. Stay. Don't go anywhere. This is important. Hold on. Yep, yep. This. This. This game. Read that. Halo 3. This is the best one. This is the best one. Okay? That's the best one. Anyways, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.